hello everyone welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to show you how you can download and install mysql server into your windows so for that just go to your favorite browser and source for mysql so just source for mysql and just go into the first link from mysql.com and just click onto this download here so if you just scroll down so you will be able to see mysql community download so just click on that and just download this mysql installer for windows so just click on this and we just need to download the windows msi installer so this is the installer community one so not we, we shouldn't download this uh, web community version so just go into this second one and click on this download button so just click on no thanks just start my download so this should start downloading the mysql installer so once this is downloaded let me show in folder and if i just double click onto this uh, installer so this should install the mysql installer so let me just click on yes just click on yes again so this will open this uh, interface so uh, we will be installing the mysql workbench mysql cell and at the same time mysql server so let me just go with the custom one and just click on next and here just choose this mysql server just click on this one just extend this one and just click on this and just drag it to here so for that we can just click here so this will drag this into the product to be installed so similarly we want to install the mysql workbench as well so for that just go into this application click on plus sign workbench and we want to install this one so let me just click here and again we want to install the mysql cell as well so for that just click on this one and click here so we want to install the server workbench and cell so now let me just click on next and so this is saying something like mysql workbench is already installed into my system so in your case so it might not show this one so since i have installed mysql workbench on my system so let me just click on next and let me just click on yes so this will show this the following products will be installed so let me just click and execute so this might take some time to install these three products so here you can see it so all the products has been completed installing so let me just click on next and just click on next so you can just uh, keep this uh, as default so port 3306 and just click on next so for authentication method so just go with the strong password encryption just click on next and for, so for my case i, I will just uh, put something like hello one two or you can just put strong password as well so just put the password and so this is saying weak in my case so just put a strong password let me just click on next and here so you just keep this everything default and click on next grant the full access click on next and just click on execute so now this should uh, properly install all the components so let me just click on finish so before that you can see here the configuration for mysql server was successful so let me just click on finish so let me just click on next and just click on finish so this has opened the mysql workbench automatically so so or you can just open from the start menu as well so just search for mysql workbench 8.0 ce so this is the mysql workbench so once this is open so we can just click on this local instance so just double click onto this and this will ask for the password which we have just added before so in my case it's hello one two and just click enter so just put the password so here you can see so this is the interface where you can execute your sql command so for example let me just create some database like create database demo and just give the semicolon and click here to execute this one so you can see the database demo has been created so now let me just click drive something like so databases to check if databases has been successfully created or not so if i just execute here so you can see the demo database has been created so the next thing is we just have to set the path of the mysql server so for that let me just close this one as well so let me just close everything and let me just go into the uh, folder inside the uh, c so just go in local dig c and just go into this program files so inside here so you will be able to see this mysql which we have just installed so just just double click onto this one and just go inside the mysql server and go inside bin and just click on this here so just copy this path so you just need to copy this path here and just type 
on start menu just type environment so just go with the edit system environment not the, this one okay so just click on this edit system environment variables and just click onto this uh, environment variables and here so on system variables so just click onto this uh, double click onto this path so this will open the edit environment variables here and just click on this new and paste that path and just click on ok and click on ok so just close everything from here so now if i just type command prompt so just uh, go with this command prompt and now if i just type mysql hyphen hyphen version so you can see so the mysql version 8.0.33 has been installed so to open the mysql so we, we can just type mysql hyphen u root hyphen p and just click enter so this will ask for the password which we have just kept hello one two in my case so just put your password so this will open this mysql cell here so now we can create the database accordingly so you can just type so databases so here you can see the demo database which we have just created before on uh, mysql workbench so now let, let me create another as well so just type create database demo one or you can just give any name and just click enter so you can see the query okay so let me just type so databases again so you can see it's a demo one database has been created so now you can use the you know one of the database and create table or do whatever operation you want to perform so this is how you basically install mysql server mysql workbench and mysql sale onto your uh, system thank you so much for watching if you like the video be sure to like share and subscribe i will see you in the next one